I want to learn channel. Your dedicated CCTV training channel. Powered by CCTV Link. Sales. Distribution. Service. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to connect an RJ45 connector to an Ethernet CAT6 or CAT5 cable. Tools that you need a network crimping tool and a side cutter if you don't have the blades included. And what I like to use is this network cable tester, which lets you know if you've got any crossover cables and make sure that all the cables are correctly connected. What I like to do is firstly to strip the cable. The cable length I like to make a little bit longer than the RJ45. I'll show you the reason just now. This particular cable I'm using is a shielded outdoor cable, so it has an extra sheath which I need to remove. But the standard cable only has one outer sheath. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to use the braiding. What you will see is four twisted pairs. Orange, blue, green and brown. You need to put these in a specific order because each twisted pair has a different number of turns per meter so it's imperative you get the order right. Here is an image of the way it gets wired. Also look on the internet. You can google 568B. You'll be able to see the exact layout that the cable should be. Ok now my cable's nice and straight. Now what I'll do is follow the 568B wiring diagram. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, Brown. Make sure that they make sure that they nice and straight. So it's fairly straight and here's the colours orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. As I said earlier, I make it a bit longer for the simple reason I trim it off straight a bit. So with my blade I'm going to just trim this. so that it's nice and straight. Having it nice and straight makes a great connection inside the RJ45. So what we do when we connect it is to remember the clip goes to the bottom. Slide the cables in, be sure not to cross them. Make sure they're all pushed in firmly. Slide it into the crimper and crimp away. As you can see it's nice and tight. Just want to get rid of the braiding. Let me just clean off this bit. Now I have a little trick to perform because I make it a little bit longer. What I'm going to do is stretch the cable so it goes right up inside the RJ45. That should be a completed connection. Just to test that we've done everything correctly, I am going to plug both sides of the RJ45 into my tester. You'll see the tester lighting up in green, showing that all the cables are correct.
Thank you for watching the I want to learn channel. Look out for our other videos, and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and our website, at cctvlink.co.za.